Welcome to the Mortgage Rates Weekly Market Update for the week of January 11, 2016. Hello, I'm John Thomas with Prime Residential Mortgage here to give you an update. Well, last week was a very good week for mortgage rates. If you take a look at the bond chart on the screen, you can see the short-term trend is now for bonds to go up, which makes interest rates go down. So if you look there, at the beginning of the week, we were right below a ceiling of resistance. And then the green candles throughout the week shows the bond was able to rally higher. We actually broke above the 200-day moving average, which is huge because that uh, has been a ceiling of resistance as cap bonds have been turned lower and they would sell off moving rates higher. So breaking above the 200-day moving average is awesome. We also broke through a long-term trend of mortgage bonds hitting a, a lower low trend, hitting that and going lower. So every time it hit it, it would make a lower low than before, and that was moving interest rates higher for the last couple of months. So we've broken through all those trends. Interest rates moved lower last week, and um, it looks like we have enough momentum to rally off the 200-day moving average. So with that in mind, we're going to recommend floating your mortgage interest rate to start the week to see if bonds can build on this very good momentum rally from last week. Now, if we dig into the economic news, what caused the, the market to move? A couple things. Friday, we had the December jobs reports released um, for December 2015. It showed 290,000 jobs created, well above the expectations of 200,000. Um, and then we also saw unemployment rate remain at 5%, which is still a seven-year low. Um, so that was all good news for the economy. Wage growth for 2015, we actually had wage growth about 2.5%. Previous years, we've been struggling to get any wage growth at all. Um, so with all that, even though it's a good jobs report, that was bad news for the stock market because that gives the Fed's impetus to keep continuing raising their short-term Fed funds rate, um, which could be bad for stocks. And then the other big play in economic news that was hurting um, the help in the mortgage bonds was the stock market had the worst start to the to a new year uh, in, in recorded history. The all three major indexes were down. They kept selling off all week, and that was in response to China's market route, just a huge sell off so bad that they stopped trading a couple days last week. Just shut down the market because it was selling off. Um, that spilled over into the U.S. equities, so the U.S. market sold off. That helped bond market. That helped us break above. That 200-day moving average is a ceiling of support. We also saw the price of oil. Um, the price of oil was uh, moving lower again. We're down to like $32 a barrel, which is, is crazy low. That hurt stock market as well. Then we saw a weak initial jobless claims on Thursday. Uh, we saw the claims drop 10,000 from the previous week to 277,000 claims. This marks the 44th consecutive weeks of jobless claims being below 300,000. So that's good news for the labor market. And then um, in housing news, CoreLogic released their home price index for November 2015. It showed a 0.5% average increase in home prices from October to November, and it showed 6.3% increase in home prices for November of 2014 to November of 2015. Now, after that report, CoreLogic released their prediction for the new year. They're predicting home prices to increase about 5.4% for November of this year to November of next year. So, very good report on housing. Um, really makes sense to get out there and buy a home because you're going to keep taking advantage of these price appreciations. And housing seems to be doing better than the stock market right now. And then we saw the, the federal budget was passed at the end in December. And in that uh, spending bill, there was a, a, a renewing of tax credit for energy efficient new homes. That's a tax credit between $1,000 and $2,000. They made it retroactive to the beginning of 2015 and they extended it to 12 31 2016. So, what that means is if you bought a new home last year or you're considering buying a new home construction this year, Make sure your builder qualifies for that energy tax credit. If they do, that's a thousand or two thousand dollar tax credit you can get on your tax return. Now, in the local news, we have some home buyer seminars coming up. The next one in Newark is Saturday, January 16th, from 10 a.m. to noon at the Christiana Hilton Hotel in Newark, Delaware. And then the next one is in Dover, Delaware. That's Saturday, January 30th, 10 a.m. to noon at the Dover Holiday Inn. You can register for either one of those events by giving us a call in the office at 302. 7030727 or online www.delawarehomebuyerseminar.com. Look forward to seeing you guys next week.